our cities and how we can we can locate it on globalization, the forces that are transforming the, the, the urbanity, but we believe that also the localities and the reaction of the localities are absolutely reshaping the globalization forces. So in a way our hypothesis is that the way that the locality is organized and the way that the, 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 the planning culture defi is defined determine enormously how the, the, the pressure of the globalization are in a way transforming the cities and, and, and the way that this is happening. So basically, I uh, invite you who are here uh, talking about intervening into the dual city, very much what is the fragmented city, very much what is the city under development. Uh, this is a conceptual review that we're going to analyze the interaction between the global and the local forces at the urban chain dynamic, facing the actual or the current urban change dynamic. Which is the context of this? The context is our work, our work as a studio and our work as an individual uh, researcher into the researching and the intervention on metropolis transformation. That is actually what we have been doing over the last five years. We are also exploring the role of the globalization process into the urban change, which is actually one of the main goals. The actual aim from this meeting is for me uh, to open a round table or to, in a way to, to, to clarify certain key questions uh, that are uh, uh, determining uh, the way that we evaluate the globalization forces and the transformation of the city. So for me, the end could be uh, to determine a little bit which is the proper criteria in order to <coughs> evaluate the city and its transformation. So how we define a urban analysis into this metropolis who are facing you know, enormous and fast urban transformation. So uh, if you find here, the one you will have that. I'm going to start with a very <coughs> provocative uh, statement. I believe me and several others, we live where that we came from a technological determinism society and we believe today that we understand global as a kind of globalizing uh, uh, determinism or globalization determinism. What is that? It's in a way that we believe that the globalization that is in our discourse, in the academic discourse, is the, is the only and the basic explanation for all kinds of social change. We believe as well that these social changes are the ones who, in a way, are transforming or commanding the transformation of our cities. So, starting by this age, we can even illustrate this by one of the uh, uh, scholars of the scope of the globalization, that is Brennan, which is defined globalization as an accelerated circulation of people, commodities, capital, identities, and images uh, through the global space, as well as increasing mobility of ideology, economic principle, policies, and lifetimes. So as we see, we see an enormous umbrella concept on this globalization, which in a way explains all sorts of changes by you know, this new image, new culture, and new lifestyles. But we also need to say that it's, this globalization is perceived, uh, is understood, as a pervasive economical force, as an enormous economical force, as a driving economical force unavoidable, with a strong impact on societies and, 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 and on the way that these societies are shaped and changes. So, of course, the dimension is a little bit broader and bigger. So, in a way, we can conclude with the first question is, to what extent the concept of globalization really is an explanation or the old explanation of the human change? So that is my first question for today. Uh, we said that in our experience, in our experience as a practitioner, in our experience as a researcher, and in the analysis of the work of uh, Friedman, Van Kempen, Amin, Margaret Crawford, between others, and all these, uh, all day, and we are agree on these, provide importance of the local context uh, in facing the pre or prevailing the tendencies of homogenization and internationalization, which is the first identity that we see into this search for the global city. Then <clears throat> we believe that it, these following contingencies that define the mutual relationship between the global and the local can be traced. So what we said at, at this, 
that if we believe that the locality have uh, the way that the locality is organized and the way that the locality contend or transform these global forces in order to avoid it or trying to avoid the homogenization, uh, it's a way to recognize this transformation and a very good approach for us to be able to understand uh, the, 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 the similarities but above all the, 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 the differences that make each locality a different arena for intervention. So we said that in this perspective, the wide range of globalization debate can be narrowed to two main questions. What exactly is being subjected to globalization tendency? Subject, what is the subject of this? What is the, the issue that the globalization is transforming? And to what extent this outcome, what happened from this, what is the result from the globalization tendency, destroy local specificity? <clears throat> this is a first challenge of discussion that is there. <clears throat> For us, you know, practitioners, designers, we transform this question up through the intervention, and then it's, which is our search, and then it's, a, it's how to get the best out of the interaction between the macro development and the big development on one hand, and the local opportunities on the other hand, understanding the best out as a social, functional, physical development. How this is can be combined, how this can be potentiated in order to what? In order to avoid you know, this homogenization and being able to adapt to the local condition, you not know, the best of the globalization forces. In very much in the way that this oh, oh, uh, very much this, 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 this issue can, can, can be traced by uh, what normally Francisco explained to us, which is the different perspective. We locate this kind of interaction by the understanding the different networks and the different clusters. But this is the own, not the only approach. But in a way, as much as you locate it into this you know, uh, discussion, trying to understand the best of the intervention based on translating into the different networks that are in a way defined in this, this new urban change can be an easy way to illustrate this, this process. <clears throat> so, as we come back to our starting point, that is, in a way, we you know, tackle this recognition of the globalization of the main cause of the urban change. So, with what, what we have said, of what is the threat, as the, that all these new changes define certain appearance where the new globalizing city are following the global. Uh, city model are becoming more and more similar. No? This is what we say. But we also need to, de to, to, to define or to say that that is also dubious. We have some doubts about it. Why? Because we believe that the local specificities that clearly lie under the surface of the different city are more significant than the similarities. Because it's in, in all these di differences the one who actually contribute to understand how this globalization process is retained into the city and how this is activated you know, in the social and, 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 then, and, then, and then the human transformation. This set out another set of questions that maybe we can, we can discuss later on. So does globalization create specific social, economical and spatial pattern? Do all globalization places exceed this pattern, happen to, to be so clear? Another level, to what extent the intricate pattern of spatial change in each city can be interpreted as a result of this globalization? Huh? Or there are other forces that are yet to be intervening? Look like there is. No? How can the specific expression of this urban change, how the physical expression of the urban change, can be linked to the process generated by the globalization or, as well, to the local contingency, to the local conditions? So these are, in a way, the expression of this element that we 